I'm Wes Dollar, Principal Consultant at Rural Sourcing, and I also serve as Web Practice Lead in our Augusta, Georgia Dev Center. Component-driven UI is essentially where we, we break the user interface down into reusable chunks, if you will, or smaller packages of code that we are then able to kind of stack together like Legos. So it ensures that we're a little bit more guaranteed to be less prone to bugs, uh, but also gives us the ability to iterate over ideas and implement new features much more quickly. So we're taking these concepts that have been on the back end for many, many years um, in terms of smaller reusable code chunks, um, and we're applying those same concepts, those same best practices, those same software development patterns to the front end as well. The big payoff for any product, software product, is that now our back end and front end can work not necessarily in silos, but the front end is never blocked by the developers on the back end. So it gives the front end engineers the ability to completely push through, develop their UI completely non-dependent of any other work that the back end developers might be doing. And then once the back end team gets done, the two can integrate together very easily. Component driven architecture is definitely something that has to be adopted not only by the team, but by QA and by the company at large. Um, it takes a very strategic approach, one that is very easy to accomplish, and it's actually going to free up time in your day and provide better velocity by doing it. But we do have to be very meticulous about what does component-driven architecture mean to us as an organization? How are we going to ensure that our QA team is part of maintaining the integrity of this architecture? And do all of our engineers truly understand what it means to take a flat image from our UI UX team and break that down into reusable chunks of code? 